Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and for those who are just joining us my name is Alia Choice and today is day number 11 of our 12 days of Christmas. One more day guys, just one and we're done. This has been a great experience, wow. And I have this really cool Christmas story for y'all, it's just going to take about a minute. That's all, it's not even going to take that long but I'm, I'm let me get my drink, I'll be right back. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house not a creature was stirring, cause you don't have a mouse. You just got out the shower tending to your hair. In your comfortable PJs, waiting for Santa to shimmy. Santa, a kappa. Explain the soup. Waiting for Santa to shimmy down there to eat your cookies and drink your milk. Why not do this beat right here and be ready when Santa come, bringing all the little gifts. Listen, if you like this and you want to see how I achieve this, so this Christmas Eve, you can meet Santa like this. Stay tuned. Disclaimer though. Don't let the kids see you kissing Santa. The trauma. Y'all know the drill. The skin has already been prepped and primed and the brows have been done off camera. So we're gonna go straight into our eye makeup. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Mine is got makeup all over it. So we're just going to open that up. Um, and I'm going to go into this color right here, Raw Sienna. And that's going to be my transition shade for today. And I'm just taking my Jessup 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And then I'm going to take my Luxe Petite Crease and I'm going to go back into that Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to pull this color here, this Relgar. And we're just going to go right on top of where we laid Raw Sienna. And notice my hand is at the back of the brush and that's so that I can control the amount that comes out. And then going back with that Luxe Soft Crease, we're going to blend. And now we're going to do something a little different. Normally what I do is I go straight into our outer corner, but I'm actually going to apply the inner corner first. Now I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette, and I'm going to take this color right here, Soleil. I'm gonna apply that into my inner third. And then going back with that um, petite crease, we're just gonna blend the colors right here, right in that corner. Then I'm gonna go into my Sephora Pro palette. And I'm going to take this black shade right here and I'm going to apply it very thinly using the Jessup 322 Browner Liner Pencil. Brow Liner Pencil. Browner Liner. What is that? And I'm just going to go right here on this end and apply it. And I'm just pressing that in lightly. Again, finger placement is at the back of the brush so that I can control the intensity of that color. Now this look is all about the smoke. And so what you want to do is you don't want to saturate it, the smoke. You don't want to saturate it with your black color because then it's going to be too smoky and it, you're going to really have to blow that out to diffuse it so that's why i take this brush and just put it right there as if i'm doing liner and then i'll blend it slowly out 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually wipe the brush on my towel and then start blending it out. And I'll apply more color as needed. Now that we have that one with the liner brush, that was just so that we can get it toothed from the eye line up. Now that we have it up enough, I'm going to take the two Jessup 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm gonna go into that same black and I'm going to just dab, tap off the excess, blow if you need to and we're gonna start creating the shape. And I'm gonna go with back with the Luxe Soft Crease and I'm gonna blend over everything. The whole point of this look is for it to really be subtle. So when it really comes down to it, it's really about the blend. There's no liner to this look, so I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and then I'll be right back. And while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my face. So taking the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the color 340, I'm gonna do my highlight areas. And going in with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the color 16, I'm going to go over those highlight areas. And then taking my Ruby Kisses 3... <laughs> and then taking my Ruby Kisses 3D... Contour Artist Palette, I'm taking the two darkest shades and I'm going to apply that in my contour with the darkest shade being on top. And I just prefer applying this with my finger. Um, it warms the product up before it even gets to my face. So it just makes for a flawless application. Double chin be gone. And then I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the color 345 and apply it into the in-between places between those highlight and contour areas. And then taking my Beauty Blender, I'm going to start blending out those highlight and contours. Taking the bottom of the beauty blender, I'll start um, blending out the contour. And when I get to the hairline, I'm blending up, up into the hairline.
and taking my Real Techniques brush in 200, the expert face brush. Now we're gonna blend the um, foundation. And then you can test and see if this is enough coverage for you. For this look it is, for me. Now we're gonna blend out the edge. Then we're gonna go in with our beauty blender. And y'all should know my thing by now. My special Sasha Buttercup and Airspun Translucent. powder mixture and I'm gonna have my beauty blender at the ready with that powder on it set the rest of our face Put on my lashes. And then taking my Jessup 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek, I'm going to dust off that excess powder. Not that there should be, but in the event that there is, you just want to dust it off just to be sure. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques 401 Sculpting Brush and my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep, and I'm going to set my contour. And then taking my Jessup 223 Petite Eye blender, I'm gonna set the under lip for the pout lip and my nose. I'm gonna take some more Fenty and I'm gonna go over my stash area um, because it looks like I may have some hair I need to take care of don't think like that if you're a guy watching this yes we get hair on our lip too um, and I get people ask me all the time like why do I t go in with um, my foundation shade for that but it's because I find that when I use a highlighter shade to try to mask that, what will end up happening is it'll actually do the opposite because highlighter is to reveal things. <sighs> Put a spotlight on things. And I'm just setting that again. Okay, so what I was saying is, um, highlight brings things out. We don't want to do that. <laughs> we don't want to bring that out. We want to hide it. So I use foundation, again, um, just for more coverage. Yeah, that's better. So now we're going to go in and we're going to take the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush and we're going to smoke out our under eye. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into that Modern Renaissance palette and take that Raw Sienna our transition color and apply that at the bottom and then you want to bring it down so that it increases the smoke effect okay we have that on now we're gonna go into the real gar with that same brush
Okay, now we're gonna go into the Sephora Pro and I'm going to take the Jessup 317 Wing Liner Brush. It's a very thin brush. Um, and I'm gonna go into that Sephora Pro palette and grab that black color and put it right at the edge. And then I said we were gonna end up going back into this top and that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go back into the top, add more black with that and bring it up. Now we can take the brow liner brush that we used and smoke that out further. Then taking my Kohl Eyeliner by Jessica, I'm gonna line my bottom lash. I'm gonna take that same Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna go into Primavera and I'm gonna put that in my tear duct. And I'm gonna take this Jessup 226 smudger brush and I'm gonna go back into Primavera and put that as my brow bone highlight. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Blush Collection in Spice. I'm gonna take this light pink color right here and I'm gonna take my Real Techniques 400 blush brush and we're gonna apply that to my cheeks. And then we're gonna go into that same palette and I'm gonna take this shimmery highlight color and I'm gonna apply that to my high points of my cheek. And we're just gonna take our Eben New York Dewy Finish Makeup Setting Spray. Go in with our Beauty Blender and blend everything all together. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild lipstick in 913C Sandstorm. And I kinda wanna nude that some more, so I'm gonna take the NYX ML's S33 in Spirit, lipstick in Spirit. Yeah, that's a pinker look. And I like a little gloss, so I'm gonna take the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy, and I'm gonna top that off. And this is the final look. How do you guys feel about it? It's really simple, it's neutral, there's nothing too crazy going on. If you want, you can, if you think it's too much intensity, you can swap out the black for a brown and that'll soften it up even more. It's perfect, you can wear it all day, you can wear it all night while you're just chilling at the house waiting for Santa to come. I love it. I think it's like the perfect go-to real quick for the holidays and it works with everything. I can literally put on anything, even my pajamas, and be glammed up and ready to go. So if you like this look, if you've been enjoying the 12 days of Christmas, y'all know we only have one day left. Oh my gosh. 
then hit the thumbs up, smash that subscribe, and click that notification bell so that every time I upload, you are the first to know. See you next time for our final episode of our 12 Days of Christmas Makeup Looks.